What's up YouTube? My name's Tweet. I have a pet named Charmander and welcome back to a brand new drawing video. Wait, we are actually not going to be drawing. Not today. No, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to sit back, we're going to get ourselves a nice coloring book and we're going to color to our heart's content. Now I'm not going to lie, I have been inspired by other artists that have done coloring books and I, you know, I thought to myself, it would be kind of cool just to sit back and color and actually try something new out that I'd never done before or have stopped doing. So, you know, I thought maybe let's go ahead and pick up our coloring book and let's pick a character and let's color her to our card's content. Now, I do want to say this. Coloring is also a skill, so you do not have to have pencil or paper to be an artist. You can pick up a coloring book and get you some nice quality markers. By the way, I got a cheap marker video coming out and I hope you guys are ready for that. I'm going to be coloring Jasmine from Aladdin and I'm still in the process of actually coloring as we speak. So the the coloring me that the the person the the me that's coloring right now he's doing that i'm doing an intro for him so he doesn't have to later on you're welcome me i love you dog <laughs> but without further ado i'm going to be doing my commentary of course telling you what am i doing what materials i'm using um i'm probably going to try to list uh, the materials i'm going to be using in the description so i'm going to try to have something there for everyone so without further ado Hey, uh, me, I want you to go ahead and get started. I think they've waited too long and I think they're tired of your cringy face. So go ahead and get started and uh, go color. Go color Jasmine. Okay, so we are finally ready to start coloring in the Jasmine Disney Aladdin coloring book. Yeah. So as I'm commenting right now, um, I did record a previous um, voiceover but I didn't like it, so I'm re-recording it right now. So, let's get started. First of all, what we do is the base layer, is what, is what we do. Reason why I do the base layer, because it's it's basically a map. It shows you, A, this is what we're gonna be working with, this color is the base color, this is what we need to work with. So once we get that base color in, we can actually get some shadows, we can get some highlights, depending on that first base layer color. So once we do that, we're good to go. Now in terms of shadows, if I want to get into those shadows, well it actually depends on like your real life where your light source is. is uh, it depends on what your light source is. I would say this should be something that you plan out way ahead of time. Don't wait until the last minute to do it. You know, it could ruin your drawing because you know you didn't plan it out and you may want to change your light source or whatever. So yeah, plan ahead. Now, as you guys can see, I'm actually coming in with some colored pencils. I don't know why I did this. Um, this, this recording is like way months after um, I'm looking at the video again. I don't remember why I use colored pencils, but it does make me feel a little bit fancy. So I just wanted to get some like little nice tones in there. And I really do like the way they look. I mean, it, it's, it's superb to me. I love it. So yeah, it's, it's cool. It's a nice touch. I would say the color pencil should be like a compliment to the drawing. Like don't let it be your, like your main thing. I would love to use the pencils to compliment the drawing. So yeah. Now I want to talk about the quality of this paper. Um, as you saw in the Incredibles video that I've done before and the Moana if that is out before this video is out or after. I'm not really too sure of the order of video, so work with me here. So in terms of the quality of the paper, it's actually not bad at all. Um, as I said previously, this is like the same book as I did The Incredibles in, so the quality paper is still the same. It's just, you know, this one is a Disney princess coloring book and the other one was a superhero coloring book. I mean, that's pretty much the only difference. I mean, the quality paper, it's still kind of bad, but still good at the same time. The only thing is, I didn't really know how I was going to work with this kind of thing, with the bleeding heavily and everything, because I did want to color this whole coloring book. But as you guys know, this paper bleeds and me with blending, um, I blended a little too much to the point where it's like, okay, I'm doing too much. I need to relax. You know, this is just a regular chill video. So yeah, went a little bit overboard, but I think it was a little bit worth it. I think it was worth it.
Okay, so in terms of Genie, I kept it simple with the blues there. I did, um, of course, a secondary shade with like maybe a third layer, but I only put it in various spots. I didn't want it to be, you know, too complex. I did want it to keep it bright and as vibrant as possible. And of course, if you, as you see with Jasmine's outfit, I wanted to keep it as bright and you know vibrant as possible with that. And I think I did pretty good on her outfit, and I think I did pretty good on uh, Genie's outfit. S well, skin tone in this matter. <laughs> Now in terms of the background, I kept it simple, didn't want anything too complex, so I just kind of chilled out with the background. I didn't do any extraordinary, you know, details with the background. I just I just wanted to keep it simple and something Disney-like, you know, very bright, very vibrant, you know, just just to keep the Disney, you know, feel and vibe to it. So uh, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this. I'll be back at the very end to show you guys, you know, the final result. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, see you in a minute.
gotta say this color book actually looks pretty damn good aladdin looks good why did i say aladdin jasmine looks good genie looks good they both look good i love the way the colors are just like slapped on the paper like that it really does look like it was from the actual movie itself like i love the way the colors are very vibrant very fun and very easy to look at not so hard on the eyes and i love the background too very simple you know very disney like you know just keep it fun that's that's that was the look i was kind of going for and i hope it did but but my opinion isn't all that important it's your opinion that does matter to me if you guys like this you know coloring book kind of series and you want me to continue doing more uh, make sure you should number strike the like button down below it does let me know and it does give me nonverbal feedback on you know what you guys like and what you don't like um, comment down below tell me what you think I could have done better I mean you know I'm here to learn I'm still learning as an artist I'm, I haven't reached my final form yet so if you got some little bit of criticism or you know from some feedback you know let me know down in the comment section down below I will always read your comments and I will always respond to them this is your first time on my video and you want to continue seeing me, you know, grow as an artist, as a person, you know, and if you want to just chat with everyone or you want to just lurk around, you know, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free. You can always change your mind. Um, as a bonus, before I do in this video, I did have one more page. It was a Pocahontas coloring page that I'd done. Um, this wasn't in, this wasn't a video. This was actually this actually was just like a off screen kind of thing. So when I had the time, and you know, videos were rendering and everything, and I just had the I had a lot of time on my hands. I just picked up this page in the coloring the same coloring book, and I colored it. And this is the way it turned out. Um, it should be in this in this little video. Um, little slide it should be at that point by now I think so I'm not really too sure but um, yeah I like this so much my Instagram followers loved this so much they said I should make it to a t-shirt or a hoodie and what's crazy I actually did um, probably in my live stream um, probably after this if you guys have seen it you'll know what this means so you can refer back to that live stream in that point of video and connect the dots like oh this is what he this is what the t-shirt was yeah this is where it came from <laughs> well the hoodie this is where the hoodie came from but that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as I always say, peace and sayonara. Oh, Charlie says bye too. He says peace and sayonara too. <laughs>